this thing basically doesn't even fight anything it just demolishes and just destroys anything that comes in to its path like look at this so i have some news about this series this episode will be the last in this series now i know i i figured i'd probably have this series going for much longer than it actually ended up but um i kind of feel like after the park kind of got destroyed not in the last episode by the zilla <laughs> that was ridiculous though uh, you know, after the park kind of got destroyed by that mod, uh, just disappearing off the workshop and, you know, my motivation just died with that. And I know some people were a little bit upset that we weren't going to finish the park anyway, but you got to kind of understand, like, when half of your stuff just disappears, it's like, okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really interested in doing that anymore. Uh, which is unfortunate. I really thought we'd actually manage to fill the park up this time and, and build it up fully but we did a couple really really nice pens unfortunately some of them have been just ruined now so we won't be doing like a world tour or anything so i was thinking what would be a good way to send off this series and in the last episode we lost quite a few of our dinos like the majority of them actually like we lost so many uh creatures we lost the <laughs> We lost freaking Domino, we lost like our, our baby Zilla, we lost like just so many creatures to trying to tame a Godzilla. Now, in today's episode, we're gonna be taming something that is even stronger and even more ridiculous than that. And I've been waiting to add this to the series, but we've got the World Serpent. Jormungandr. Yeah, I'm just gonna call it a big snake. Um. So, it's only a level 102 down there, but trust me, like, it's not even going to make a difference. Like, I, I could tame any level one of these, and it's already going to be ridiculously OP. So, I'm not trying to go for, like, a super high level. I'm okay with taming this 102, because there was a 156 on the map, but unfortunately, I did have to do a Dino Wipe. So, we're going to go for this 102, and we're going to tame it. But, guys, this is the last episode. If you have enjoyed the series, go ahead and hit the like button. Really just help me out, and I do appreciate it. Again, I'm sorry that we managed to like not build the park this time but we did a good amount of it we just didn't finish it all um i don't even know how we're actually going to be able to try and and get that guy out of the ground but i'm gonna give it a go uh i might need to bait it out of the ground but unfortunately i don't think i really have anything good with me to be able to do that so we might have to just go down there naked and then and try to actually get it out of the ground so let me go ahead and just drop everything and we can oh I forgot you gotta actually like drag them off. I was hitting E on them for some reason. I don't know why. We could probably just like run down there, try to get it out of the ground, spawn back up here, grab my stuff, and then uh and try to knock this thing out. Um So, the World Serpent, I will try to leave a link to the mod down below. It is the most ridiculous mod ever. It's just this gigantic snake on a scale to like, I don't even know if it's, like, really comparable to anything else. It's not gigantic as in it's tall. I mean, it is pretty tall, but this thing is just ridiculously big. Uh, you'll see. You'll see. Uh, we're probably gonna have to die here, so... I mean, maybe I can run back up and around. I don't know. I might not be able to manage that. Uh, oh my... <laughs> what? I barely just saw it come out of the ground. I was already dead. All right, let's try and do this then. Is it going to be still out of the ground, or am I going to have to, like, drop one of my creatures on it as, like, a sacrifice? Yeah, it's gone back into the ground, hasn't it? Oh, we're totally going to have to send something down there. Oh, that sucks. Who do we want to send to death? This is not even Domino. That's not Domino. We're sending this one in. We're going to send it in on passive, though, because uh, I don't want it to attack the World Serpent. So, passive, and I'm going to have to be on you. So you don't go as well. Uh, move to, I think I have it bound to there. There we go. All right, come on. Go on in, stupid Adamus Rex. Go on. Go on. What are you doing? Buddy, go. Oh my God, you idiot. All right, hang on. Let me, oh, it's going now. Okay, great. Wait, what? what are you doing? What is it doing? It's got like brain worms or something. What's wrong with you? Are you still pissed at me? This thing got pissed. Yeah, it's still pissed at me. What the hell? It got pissed at me in the last episode because I guess it almost got killed by the dude. But like that sucks. Okay, wait, we can't spawn in a sleeping bag just yet. So obviously it's still pissed at me for some reason. Um, oh my God. 
Come on, let me spawn. There we go. It's going. All right. Let me... Let me see. Let me grab my, my rifle. Go a little bit further there, buddy. Oh, my God. We're going to probably need to go down there. Yeah. It's going to have to get a little bit closer. I don't even know how you tame this thing. It's so big that, like, even going close to it is, like... It doesn't seem like an option. All right, let me try and get just a little closer. Ooh, out. Hurt my shins. And again, nice. Um, we're not going to be able to survive anything if it hits us, but I'm going to just try to get closer. Okay, buddy, go on. A little bit closer. Go on. Go over that way. Oh, I fell. Come on. Keep going. I hate the move to whistle. Like, sometimes it just doesn't work. Like, even when I was beside him, it wasn't really working. Oh, this is dangerous. This is really dangerous. Come on, go over there. Come on, you definitely heard me from this distance. Please, will you just go over there? Do I need to, like, take you and, and throw you closer? We might need to. <laughs> go on. I don't want to get any closer to that thing. All right, we got to put this rifle onto the bar. I have no clue how we're going to knock this thing out, but we got to do it. Will you just please go closer? What is wrong with you? Come on. Go. Well, oh, you're, are you moving? What are you doing? It's a move to whistle. It doesn't take that much to listen. Oh, my God. You're going to make me get closer, aren't you? Oh, now it's go. Oh, my. Seriously? Seriously? What was that? Sorry, what? Like, what? That makes no sense. You don't listen to me, and then I get a little bit closer, and then it just pops out and kills me. Amazing. Oh, my Jesus. Okay. Well, like, that just... That was not... That that did not turn out well. I have no clue how we're actually going to ma manage to knock this thing out, because I can't even get it to stay out of the ground. Maybe we're going to have to grapple to the cliff or something. I have no clue. I, I seriously am so confused as to how you actually tame this. I mean, maybe a... Oh, oh, it's out of the ground. <gasps> it's out. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe a griffin could help me. Oh, no, he's he's aggroed, hasn't he? Oh, he's aggroed on something. Not me, though. Not me. Wow, he just obliterated the Indom, but I'm okay with that. It's completely fine. It is what it is. The Indom boss... Oh, my... <gasps> What do you want? What do you want? No, oh, Jesus. Okay. Nope. How do you tame that thing? No. Oh, now we gotta wait again. Oh, man. Can I hit it? No. Not close enough. And it's in the ground again. Oh, it's not working out well. Okay. We're, we're gonna see if this is gonna work. Probably not. What was that noise? Oh. Seriously? Something's attacking you? It's not doing that much damage. I'm okay with this. Ugh. I'm not going all the way back up there just to try and save him from 36 damage. We're just going to have to listen to his moaning. All right. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Let me try and hit you then, buddy. Oh, yeah, we are going to knock you out. This is the only way to tame one of these things. I don't care if we hit it when it's knocked out. Like, I can't even see where its head is. Okay, reload. I love the new animation on this uh, rifle. Okay, how will I tell when it's knocked out? I don't even know how much torpor this thing has. Okay. My Godzilla is just, like, screaming, crying up there. It's hilarious. It's probably being hit by, like, a stupid Dillo or something. Like a compy. Alright, well, I can tell its health is still good, so it's not bleeding. So we're good, we're good. Yeah, this is, like, the only way to tame this giant serpent. Okay, well, this is, like, very... Very ridiculous, because its, its face is in the cliff. I can't see anything. Reload. Okay, we got it down. Oh my god. Let me see. Uh, food goes food goes in. There we go. How many is it going to take? Okay, so I hit it. I think I hit it like once after it went down. Oh my god, dude. 
All right, I'm going to go up there and try and save Godzilla because he's just, he's hurting. <laughs> I think he's healing like quicker than he's taking the damage, so he's okay, but still. Let me get up here. So that took quite a lot to actually knock down. That thing's kind of silly. Come on, let me up. Almost there. Almost there, buddy. I'm coming. You got your chin. What is even attacking you? Oh my god, of course it's like something really small and dumb. There we go. One little hit killed you. Just, I didn't want to put it on, um... I didn't want to put it on neutral in case it came down and, and tried to fight the serpent, because it would get two hit. Like, that thing legitimately does so much damage that it's not even, like, possible. Alright, let's see. You know what? I might need to put you away. Might need to do that. So let me actually take all of this. Um, and then we'll take the element. I mean, we don't really, we could grab all this other stuff, but it's probably not really necessary, uh, considering this is the last episode. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and just put you away then. Nice. All right, Mr. Serpent. Let's see if we can get you up and tamed. Oh my God. All right. Where's your taming meter? There it is. Nice. So you've dropped down by a little bit, so that's probably not your preferred food. But I'm okay with whatever we get on this. Like, it's completely fine by me. Uh, I just want to have it tamed. That's it. That's all of it. You know, that's that's all I need. So it's like super close right now, actually. Uh, we could probably watch it actually get tamed up. All right. One more. One more. How much are you dropping down by? Oh, yeah. That's going super quick. Let me go ahead and uh, do that. And sweet. The world serpent is mine. I can take over the ark now. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, let's call it that because it's a snake. Um, so do you have a saddle? I'm actually kind of unsure about that. All right. Okay, so it's a level 146. So we didn't really get a huge amount of extra levels, but you know what? It's the last episode. It's super getting super dark. Let's just turn it to daytime. There we go. I want to show this thing off in all its glory, and I just want to warn, okay? The server that I have is very good, but this thing is ridiculous. There will be so many damage numbers and so many things breaking all at once that it's probably going to lag the crap out of the server because I've heard that this thing is just ridiculous and I would never have this on one of my servers just because like 10 people will be running around on one of these things at the same time and it will probably break the server. So, um, I want to say that, uh, yeah, the server's great, but this thing is ridiculous, so expect poor performance here. Look at that. I'm just rolling over some rocks and they're breaking. Wow, okay, so first of all, we've got left click. Just a gigantic bite. Like, look at that crazy face on this thing. It looks so cool. It's got, like, tons of teeth and everything. Oh, my God. You know what? Can we break these trees so we can see a little bit better? Or maybe we can peek our head off the cliff. That could work. Uh, okay. So, there you are. How much damage do I do? Wow, okay. That's a silly amount. <laughs> It also does trample damage too, which is cool. So left click does that. Right click, I think, is the laser beam. Oh, yeah. It's got like this crazy laser beam. We'll show it off in just a few minutes. Uh, C, what does that do? I think that's a roar, maybe. Oh, my God. That is silly cool. Like, that. that is such an awesome roar. <laughs> What does X do? X does nothing control? No. Q, R, O. Okay, so I think that's it. Oh, it can go into the ground, I think, right? There we go. Yeah, that's what can happen. And it's got, like, sand for some reason. All right, so let us test this thing out on some creatures. That is so cool how high it pops up out, out of the ground. Let me try out the laser beam. Wait, I can't even aim that properly, can I? Wait, what? That was weird. It wasn't aiming where the crosshair was. Uh, oh my god. Okay, so let me see. Let me see if we can find some stuff to go fight. Maybe the desert's a good place to do this. Alright, wait, we got some brackies here. Let's use the laser beam. Laser beam of death. Okay, so I think... I can't even tell what's really happening. I think it does like 3,000 damage per hit and then also sets them on fire. That is so cool looking. Oh my god, it made him dance as well. Let's do it on that one too. It's so hard to show this because, like, it's so big. That's what she said. Um, 
Oh my god, let me let me go over here. Like this thing is just so strong. Like, why would you even want something like this? I mean, it's so cool looking. It's amazing. But like, it's just so unbalanced. Oh my god. It's also crazy to like ride around on it because the camera is just so zoomed out. It does like so much trample damage as well. Oh my god. It's just like one hits everything. I could probably like destroy the bosses with this thing too. Like so easily. All right, let me see. Let me go ahead and just like fight some more creatures. Not really fight. I guess just eat everything. This thing basically doesn't even fight anything. It just demolishes and just destroys anything that comes in to its path. Like, look at this. Everything's just died so far. And the funny thing is, is that I haven't even leveled a thing on it. Like, look at that health. Like, do I even want to see how much that goes up by? Let's get that up to a million because why not? And then let's put the rest into melee. I kind of want to pump some into speed, actually, just to see. But look, we do like a ton more damage now. Oh my god, wait, what? I did 200,000 just there? Okay. Maybe that was like a... Counted like as like a headshot or something? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's not a good idea to go up that way. Like, literally every single rock I'm hitting is breaking as well. Like, I'm not even hitting them, actually. I'm just running them over. I don't even understand, man. This is like so silly. Alright, let's go. Let's go this direction. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a great way to end off a series. I I know probably some people are thinking, oh, you should have had like all your creatures fight one of this one of these things, but like like 95% of my creatures would have just died after one hit. So that wouldn't have really worked. Um, yeah, it's like sending dodos in to fight a giga. It's just not gonna work. You gotta, I don't know, you gotta kind of consider that type of stuff when you're doing those types of ideas. Um, wow. This is just ridiculous. Like, nothing can kill this. Nothing could kill this. Maybe something with a bleed could kill this. I love the emote, actually. Like, when it, when it gets its levels. <laughs> it's just, it's just so happy. Oh, wait, what, what the hell is that? Is that a cave or something? I kind of want to see. Oh, okay. We got to watch out for um, for fall damage on this big beast. What is this over here? Is this a cave? It's got like manticore uh, statues. Oh, oh my God. That's an Omega Rex. Wait, that's not a spyglass that I pulled out. Let me go ahead and send him in to fight the Omega Rex then. Come on. If I can get the whistle. Oh, it's behind a rock. That's why. All right. Wait, what does this lead to? I actually don't even know. I never even properly checked out the caves on this map. I feel so bad. Maybe I'll play on here with like a more survival kind of based uh, series at some point. I'm probably going to die because of this Omega Rex's roar, but it's fine. You know what? I'll, I'll somehow get back here. Uh, can I get onto the snake? There we go. Arthur is dead. <laughs> All right, let's fight him. Ah! Don't roar me, bro. Don't roar me. No, please don't roar me. I don't want to die. It hasn't roared yet, which is good. Where even is it? Did I just kill it? Where is the Omega Rex? I killed it. I didn't even see it happen. Wow. Okay. This thing is just so unbalanced. <laughs> oh my God. Like even the, the strongest bosses in this can't actually face up against the world serpent this is probably gonna be the only time i ever use this considering how strong it is Are you gonna come out of the ground there death worm okay we're inside of its mouth right now that's <gasps> no 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 don't don't make me fall i can't i can't ride no nope, won't allow me all right we're gonna have to like lower ourselves down to the ground there we go is that death worm here somewhere? I think it, I think we might have killed it. I don't remember that happening though. Wow, okay. So yeah, the world serpent, absolutely ridiculous creature. Very nice abilities. I love the like laser beam thing. That's so cool looking. Even the sound is like awesome and you can kind of like drag it around and set the ground on fire. Oh my God, could I like write my name? Oh, this is not gonna work well. Let's just try and do an S. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait. There we go. I did it. Kind of. Not really. 
All right, wait, wait, let's try this again. Let's do like there-ish. No, I like flew it off at the very end there. It looks like a, a three. <laughs> Is that foreshadowing season three? No, definitely not. We're not gonna do a third season of the Jurassic Park stuff. Uh, maybe when the Jurassic World mod that he's working on is out, maybe we'll check that out. I don't know. I really don't know, to be honest. <laughs> like, I, I love this mod. I love the Jurassic Park mod. It's awesome. Uh, I've had so much fun in the two series that we've done with this mod. And, um, it's like, it, I don't know. It's just really interesting to use. But I feel like every single time I have the idea of making a park, it just doesn't ever work out. So... I don't know if I'm ever going to actually attempt to make a park now. I don't know. I, I definitely blew through quite a few of my good ideas with this series, considering the fact that I actually made a, uh, a decent attempt at actually making the park. I don't think we can... Oh, I kind of almost drew an S there. Sort of. Not really. Let me see. Can I fight the uh, death worm? There we go. Is he... He's attacking. Oh my god, he's already dead. Okay, there we go. Deathworm just instantly died. Nothing can stand against this. That's that's it. So I think, uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode and the end of this series. If you have enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the like button because that really just helped me out. And 50 episodes, it's a good, it's a good number to end it on, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with what we've got done. It's just disappointing that we had to end it sooner than I expected, but... The way I see it is, it was, it was been, it's been a fun adventure, and, uh, you know, this series being over can potentially open the door to other series appearing. Um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I don't know what I really have in store, but I think maybe something eventually. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I enjoyed this series just as much as you did, and I'll see you in the next video that's not gonna be part of this series. <laughs> <laughs>